Well, when I first got the email, I was like super excited. And I was like, oh my God, I, I actually got it. <laughs> Cause I think I just kind of doubted my abilities. Like I wasn't sure that I was even like cut out for it. Knowing that I took like two years of comp sci classes in my high school, I'm like, is this enough compared to some of the other kids that are stepping into this internship? Yeah, I was super intimidated, but I was like, you know what? I can do it. I can do anything I can put my mind to, so. <laughs> I was nervous at the same time I was very excited because I never worked in a government before and also I was nervous because I don't know what the job will be. Uh, I knew a little bit just because my dad works here already. I was expecting the job to be really difficult and then when I actually got into the job it was much more, you know, it was much more fun, it was much more of a good experience. And I thought it would be a little more stressful but it's definitely a way more learning experience compared to um, an actual desk job, does that make sense? <laughs> Yeah, I went pretty excited because like this was going to be like uh, my first I guess in person internship because previous internship were like remote. Before I didn't have like a mentor, so here like I actually have like a mentor who was in a professional field. I thought it would be super complicated and difficult, but like now as time has went on, I'm being I'm like I learned a lot and um pretty capable and it's brought me a lot of confidence and knowledge. I kind of had like a perception about government jobs, which is like they're kind of like boring in cubicles and stuff. So it's kind of like good to see it's like nice and the office is really good. My experience has been great. I got to learn a lot of new things and my mentors have always uh, helped me when I needed help. And something I've learned within these past few weeks is um, about Windows Enterprise. How all the county is interconnected and how like each group impacts all the other uh, departments throughout the county. I also enjoyed um, Tim's civics class and getting to know both Sybil and Tim. I learned a lot about you know Alameda County and the government and how every single part of the county connects together. We even got to tour the data center. I saw how all that is structured and how it's set up and managed and how they keep all the service cool and stuff and it's you know really sophisticated how they set it up. Yeah my favorite session was the one about project management because it was also like more like interactive. We made our own project. Our goal was to get me signed to a label. I have no idea how a project is managed before this class. Now I got the idea that you need to consider time, cost, scope of the project and how to break a project down into small pieces. It's almost like a play. You know, there's like different directors and everything. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Everyone has a part. So I learned that there's just so many fields I could get into. What I learned here helped me understand better about what I learned in school and how it applied in the real world. It connected everything. So the project that I'm currently working on is a Microsoft Power app. It's an app to help the supervisor in a social service agency to keep track of the cases that they assign to the social worker and also keep track of their schedule. I know that like, it's not like a mock project, but it's a real development tool that I created, which will benefit the county and also the community. So I'm really excited about that. So the first project I worked on was an SSIS project. So I had to take tax information that I was given in like flat file, unsecured bills, specials, and um, unsecured payments. And I was supposed to use that and use SSIS to essentially like clean that information up, put columns, make sure all the data is good so it could be fed into the SQL database. I got a new project recently. It's with the improved team before it was with property team. It's a code table builds project. I'm writing like a REST API so like people can access the information from the database. I am working with the property team and my current project is mail merging different uh, templates into output PDFs and uh, documents of other format. I've been coding in C Sharp, but for uh, the databases, I use uh, SQL to query the data table. The project I'm currently working on is called Seasons of Sharing. Uh, it's a charity management application for the county. Um, it's used for caseworkers to help you know, create applications for people who are requesting for money, for needs of any kind. The languages and frameworks I had to use included HTML, CSS, TypeScript, 
and the frameworks I used was Angular. Um, I had to learn all of those. I, I mean, I knew HTML and CSS and a little bit of TypeScript, but I mostly had to learn from online and from my mentor a lot to be able to progress and contribute to the project. So I'm working for SSA for the service desk and I'm making a web app. So back then, what the service desk would do was they would directly put data points into Excel and then transfer all that data into SharePoint. Some things get lost. And so what I'm doing is I'm creating an app where a user can log in and then directly add, just with a simple entry form, add a point directly into the database and then have that app display data using graphs and charts right on there. And the best part about this is that it's mobile, so like the service desk team can just immediately put it on their phone, so we're just making it super accessible. I'm in the daylight team, which is work for the district attorney. My mentor is Russia. She is a very nice mentor and my personal project is to create a website applications which allows the security admins to assign the security functions to each admin groups and report notes, pages. I learned how to use Angular, uh, TypeScript, she shops and create a .NET applications and connect the front end to back end so we can modify the data and send it back to the data database. Uh, so I'm on the web team and my mentor is Jonathan. So the first project that I did was there used to be a website for claiming uncached warrants, the steps to do it. And it was like a long website with all this information. What I did is I changed it into a survey where you answer like yes or no questions or like a small like select of options. And then it would give you your steps. And then the other project we're working on right now is to make web components for all the county sites. So they would like all be like in tangent together. And if like one thing had to change, if you just change the web component, it would change everywhere instead of having to like do it on every single website. So I'm part of the ISG rotation. I started out in the networking team and I learned how to configure switches and routers. Well, one of the projects I did was looking at how much data passed through wireless access points before the upcoming election, the local election, so we could send it over to the whoever runs the election and made sure that it was good enough for people not to be complaining about it. With the server team, I've created around 20 virtual machines that are up for production, and I also learned how to use Microsoft IIS to host a website on a template server. My next rotation is cybersecurity. Like learning a bunch of stuff from here lets me have knowledge about the back end side of programming, going into computer science, knowing all of that side, I can relate to all the networking people or cybersecurity or server people in my future job and I can have the kind of a knowledge of what they're saying and what they're talking about. <laughs> my favorite part of the internship is mostly being with the other interns and during the workshops because you get to have fun and learn new things that are not directly related to like programming. Another favorite thing is I'm able to hang out in the Oakland and going out for lunch. And we would get boba and go to the lake sometimes and we also drew a lot on the board Board, but <laughs> like celebrities on the board, that's how we would spend our time. I think my biggest takeaway from this internship is going to be how to learn things like on the spot, especially as a programmer, things keep changing. So you have to like adapt to it and learn new things. I learned to overcome challenges by working on my own, as well as learning from my mentor and my peer. Uh, before I think like government was for like uh, old folk and it's like pretty tough for younger people to break in after coming here and seeing this. It looks pretty modern as well. It's comparable and competitive to private environments. This internship really opened my mind to web development and everything about it. I could see myself working in industry, even here actually, like later in life if I came back, I could totally see myself working there. The ITD is a pretty cool place to start off and eventually build up to a bigger career. The biggest takeaway is the experience of building actual web applications and get work with my teammates, with my mentors. You know, when I was working in projects in school, you make products, but they're just for you. But when you're making something for someone else to use, it's just such a good experience. It's like having a very educational experience as well as a social experience has made it cool because I thought that I'd be working this whole summer, but it's like working and having fun and that's something I didn't really expect, so that's good. <laughs>